this video we're going to be covering the firmware update procedure for the ME221 engine management system. Now this procedure is the same whether it's a plug and play unit or a wiring system. The firmware update procedure is handled by the integrated tuning environment so it's the same in any case. So we're on the bench here, we have our unit powered and connected to our PC and you can see obviously there's no signals coming in so we're getting some, uh, some garbage readings on here. And you can also see that this is a fresh ECU because the VE table is all set to 100. Uh, obviously if you've loaded a base map this would reflect that. And we can see down here in the lower right that we are indeed connected by the little green tick. So what we're going to do is carry out a firmware update. So we've already downloaded the update, the firmware update file from our website. We're going to go to the tools menu and then ECU firmware update. And on here you can see the current firmware, so it's an ME221, it's the Miata or MX5 plug and play version, it's running definition file version 1 which, which we'll cover in another video, and the firmware version is currently 0.7.1. So we're going to click on the browse button, and we're going to locate on our desktop here we've downloaded it, the, the latest firmware file. And you can see now that the new version that we're going to have is the ME221, again for the Miata, it's definition file version 2, which means we've changed some layouts and so on within the actual uh, software on the left here, there'll be, there'll be some changes because the definition file determines what tables are accessible, what options you can choose and so on. And we can see that the new version is version 0.7.2. So once we're happy with that, and the newer version is of course newer than we've got, we click on we click on start update. So it's sending us the definition file is different, which means our calibration file won't load into this version, but there's an update for that. Uh, so we want to continue yes. It saves our calibration file to disk, so we can always go back to it. And it, here it's saying you know ensure your battery is fully charged because if you do a firmware update with a with a with a battery that's not completely charged, it could potentially uh, you know damage the ECU. Um, and of course make sure the engine is not running, it's just ignition on. And when we're ready, we hit yes. And there we go, we can see that the files are indeed, these files indeed being sent down to the controller and the green progress bar along the bottom here is running. Let that run a few seconds to get it get to the end. Okay, a couple of minutes have gone by, it's nearly finished. And there we go, so the update's been completed. Now it's important that you leave the ECU on for a, for a few seconds, we say five seconds here, and then cycle the, pa the, uh, the, the power to the ECU, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do, is cycle the power, off, you see we lose columns, and back on, and now it's a case of just restarting the mighty, so we go file, exit, and then we'll rerun it again, off it goes. Okay, so the Mighty is now back up, and if we look, if we are connected, we are indeed connected. If we go to the help and about, we can see that the ECU firmware version has indeed updated to 0.72. So, so that's it. That is the system now brought up to date. On this one, we actually added a couple more features to acceleration enrichment, uh, a couple more tables, but that is indeed updated and ready to tune. Of course, you can now load your calibration file. Um, as long as a, a version that matches our definition file, but of course we will be making it so you can automatically import older calibrations into the current version you've updated to. But that's it for this video. Thanks.